Hey, Ali, can you hear me? Hey, yes, I can hear you. Awesome. Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you? Oh, you know, hanging in there. It's uh, it's early in the week, just trying to get to, uh, trying to get to Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Already? I know. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, how are you? Good, good. Just... Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to stay cool. I hear it's, um, I hear it's pretty hot there in Texas. Oh yeah, it was uh, one one ten yesterday, I think. <sighs> Hundred and ten degrees Fahrenheit. That's um, that's stay indoors weather. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. And then you add the humidity on top of it; it's even worse. Oh, are you uh, are you in Houston? No. We're in, uh, we're in Dallas. In Dallas. We still, yeah. still, still have the humidity here. Yeah. Yeah, I've been to Dallas, Austin, and Houston before. Um, and I just remember the humidity in Houston, so that's why I was, oh, I yeah. was curious. Yeah, the humidity is bad from like this one all the way up to Dallas. Like the only place that you don't really get much is like, I guess like Amarillo, which is like north of Texas. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Where do you live? Are you in East Coast, West Coast? Uh, West Coast, yeah. So I am in the uh, San Francisco Bay Area. Oh, no. oh, I love that area. Oh, yeah? Have you been? As a, yeah, perfect weather. I've been there at one time in June. Yeah. I think it was June or July. Uh, we were around like the UC Berkeley area. It was awesome. Like in the morning, we had the fog. Yep. Uh, it, was, it, was, it was beautiful, yeah. Yeah, the best thing about the Bay Area is... Whatever weather you want, you are probably a, a couple hours driving distance to it. You can go east and hit the 110 degree weather if, if, you, if you prefer that. You can go west to the coast and get the fog and it'll be 60 degrees Fahrenheit. If you want to go up to the snow, there, you know, you can go up the Tahoe. Uh, yeah, it's crazy. Like, yeah. That area is the best weather. And you're close to all the other stuff that you want to do. Yeah, yeah, we, we love it here. It's, I mean, it's expensive. Uh, it's, yeah, uh, yeah. People, and the people pay for it with taxes and everything else, like being expensive. Really is, yeah. But it, it's worth it. I, I, I grew up kind of moving all over the, the states. Um, I lived in five different places and, and traveled, you know, to the surrounding areas as I grew up. Um, but I've always loved uh, California. Um, yeah. yeah. So, um, Ali, uh, how, how long have you been playing chess? Cause, uh, I see we're, we're about the same rating in terms of rapid. Is this something that you, you do a lot or is it just kind of a passive hobby or? It is kind of passive hobby. Okay. I can't really play full time. Like yeah. I would love to play full time, but I can't really do it. So I, I started playing chess when I was a kid. Like I saw my like sisters and brothers when I was like five, six years. I saw them playing my cousins and all. Mm -hmm. uh, I grew up in Middle East, so chess is big over there. Um, and then I, my sister taught me how to play chess, so I play, I started playing chess. I got really good at it until I uh, until I quit playing about like I quit playing about like maybe when I was like 10, 10 12 years ago. Okay. So I didn't play chess for like. Uh, for like almost 10 plus years yeah. and then uh, uh, last year I opened my account and I was like let me just get back to it see see if I'm see if I'm good enough see and if I you got, still got it yeah and oh no I got quickly I got humbled <laughs> I opened to some blitz game and I was like wait why am I this bad you know you don't play so long you, you get bad and then I, I hop and then but I got the reigning to back to like thousand fourteen hundred, it was it was pretty easy to get to that level. That's awesome. But I'm I'm kind of stuck because I play like one or two games every day, so I don't play a lot. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing I'm noticing is it just takes consistency and and really practicing, spending a lot of time practicing, which it's hard. You know, it's hard to find the time to really devote to it. Um, but what what else uh, what else are you into outside of outside of chess? What do you do for fun? Uh for fun, just go to gym, work out. Uh, yeah. That's it. Yeah. Uh, 
you healthy uh, healthy guy working on your fitness. Oh yeah, I love working out. I just work out and uh, go out in town sometimes here and there. Yeah. Play some football. We have football at the house, so that's one. Awesome. How did you get into chess? Well, what what inspired you to open a YouTube channel and try to get to two thousand? I don't know. I just during the pandemic. So I've I've known how to play chess for a while. Um, since I was a kid, but it didn't, it, you know, it took the pandemic for me to really start playing it a little bit more frequently. Yeah, um, I feel like lots of people, all the recent players got into it because of pandemic. Yeah. And then... Yeah, because they watched the, they watched the Queen's Gambit too, that's when it came out, right? Yeah. I think it was during... Yeah. Everybody watched that and everybody, it was a big chess boom. Yep, big chess boom. Uh... Yeah, I don't know. And then I think once I realized, okay, there's a lot of theory. There's, if I'm going to improve, I need to learn openings. And when I, yeah. when I kind of realized that I'm like, all right, this could be fun, but I need some way to kind of hold myself accountable. So like this is posting a video every day is kind of a way to keep me on track, but then it's kind of morphed into this other thing where now I'm learning from from the comments and learning from from folks kind of chiming in and watching other people's journeys as well it's 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 turned into a really fun little I'm kind, of, I'm kind of thinking of doing something similar you should yeah you should i, I play chess and then talk to the friends online yeah and uh just kind of like do like a kind of like a chess podcast type of thing yeah i was thinking of that idea i was like podcasting is going crazy chess is kind of going crazy i was like what if i combine both should i think there's i think there's a big market for that and people and i think people and it's funny because the comments that i'm seeing it's people tend to enjoy the fact that i'm not really good yeah, yeah yeah that's 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 big actually because they can relate to it yeah because they can predict the moves and it's kind of like, oh, let me see what happens. Kind of like a, like a, like a reality show, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And I'm seeing, like, it, there's something for everybody. Like, if you, if you watch kind of the grandmasters, like, you're there only to learn from the best, right? But somebody at my level, I have people who are coaching me and advising me and, and getting joy out of, like, spotting things that I'm doing wrong. But at the same time, people who have a lower rating are also learning. So it's kind of, you get both sides. And it, I think the games tend to be a little bit more fun because there's more of a chance of like blunders and bad moves and a little bit more, a little bit more drama. So yeah, yeah that's cool. Awesome. Well, Ali, uh, I'm looking forward to this. So I, I do have a hard stop though. Um, after the game so unfortunately i won't be able to jump back on and do an analysis or anything but what i'll do is after we hang up here i'll just uh send the invite and we'll go from there and are you okay if i kind of post this conversation on online um, oh yeah oh yeah absolutely go for it okay uh, awesome yeah i'm looking forward to like start uploading my own content too hopefully we can if, collaborate more yeah, absolutely. If anybody out there wants to start their own journey, please let me know how I can help. I think it's a good thing for everybody. Cool. So, yeah, yeah. Awesome, Ali. Cool. So but, how do we do it? Is it a 10, 10 plus? I think, 10 plus five? yeah, if that's and okay. Then, uh, how, yeah. Do you, how do you pick the color? You pick a random? You, you, let the, you let your stuff come to say? Yeah, I'll set the challenge to be unrated. I'll okay. set the color to be random. And then it'll be 10 minute with uh, five second increments. Oh, okay. I don't usually play that format. I only play the regular 10 minutes. So I'm quick. So you might get frustrated with me moving fast. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, and I'm an aggressive player too. So you are okay. Well, well, you're giving me all the tips now. So maybe I'll, maybe right. I'll play a little bit more conservatively and see if okay. you already play too defensive uh, yeah. watching your videos. I know. I know. I, so the thing is, I tr when I look for the attacks, I, 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 I lose focus on my defense. And then when I focus on my defense, I lose focus of the attacks. And it's like, how do I find that? How do I find that middle ground? So the balance, yeah, right. That's tough. Yeah. Cool. All right, cool. All right dude. Ready? Yeah.
Very nice to meet you. And uh, yeah, nice to meet you. Let's uh, let's get after it. I'll see you around. Let's do it. Cheers. Okay, here we are. My fourth subscriber game with I'm Mate Master, also known as Ali. Good luck, Ali. What a good guy, Ali. And I'm black. Good luck, Ali. Got the Karakan, the advanced variation. Ooh. Oh, he is going fast. Look at this. Wow, he wasn't joking. The towel variation. The towel variation. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Ha! Huh. He has trapped my bishop in the very beginning. Look at this, guys. Incredible. So I'm gonna lose my bishop. Can I destroy his pawn structure in the meantime? If this, this. Let's do this. Hmm. I don't want to throw in a check. If this, then I go here. And then if takes, I take, then he has to move his king. That would be ideal. But he doesn't have to do that because if, if I check him and he comes out here, and I go here, then he can just take. And then at that point, I can come here. All right, let's see. I do like the idea of, <clears throat> instead of just getting rid of the bishop, try and demolish any sort of pawn structure over there. Note to self, the tau variation, big chance of uh, pawn advancing and Hmm. I'm going to go here. So if we exchange, I get this open file here. So he's up to, but I feel like I have a chance of a better king position.
110 degrees. Wow. 110 degrees Fahrenheit. I wonder what that is Celsius. For all my friends abroad, across the pond, as they say. just keep going this pond structure is all over the place is it enough to sneak out an advantage <clears throat> I don't have my bishops so I gotta Yep, I'm going to have to exchange this. It's coming in there. That knight can't really move anywhere, so my pawn structure on this is good. I'm going to develop this so I can castle. see if there's a way that I can hmm I'm gonna castle anyways because this is even though that's kind of dangerous I'm gonna yep okay Hmm, let's see. Ali Yeats. Oh, I gotta check out something. Can I get a passed pawn on here? Let's see. It takes, I, yep, I do have a passed pawn now. Hmm, I can see this happening. But I think I'm okay. Now attacking this pawn.
see what can I make happen here. I might be able to do something with this move. Attacking their bishop. And then this, which is a check, threatening this take. So if takes, takes, fork, I'm going to take it anyways. We shall see. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing. Moves here, I fork this way. <clears throat> Where do I take this one? I can take this pawn or this pawn. This one would allow me yet another past pawn. Mm. Oh, no, I forgot. You can come over there. That's not good. Yep, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, darn. Mm. I should have seen that. Oh. Oh, interesting. So we didn't take. He's going to come down here now. Mm. Five minutes remaining. Mm hmm. I don't know if that was the best move for me or not. I don't think so. This pond's a goner. <laughs> Let's see, what can I do here? Hmm. 
Mmm. Ah, darn it. Ah. <laughs> Whoops. Whoopsie. You are good. He does move fast. Not looking good for me, Ali. I think you've got this one in the bag. Mm-hmm. Yep, and then he comes down and takes this. I don't think there's a way out for me. I don't think there's a way out. Ah, uh, and he takes away the only move I was hoping to play. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Ali. See what kind of cool checkmate he can do with two knights and a rook. Ooh. Look at this nasty move that's coming. Good, good move. Good move. This is checkmate here. So either I check, and then he comes here, and then something, or I just go ahead and sack my my rook now, which I will do.
pretty sure he's going to be able to finish this one off. And there it is. Checkmate. Good game. <clears throat> oh, he didn't do it. He didn't do it. You had an eight. Knight E4. Hmm. The night's going to be a pain for me. Yeah. I can't go here, can't go there. All he has to do is advance, and he promotes. Well, I wasn't expecting that. He's got it. I'm gonna let him I'm gonna let him check me. me. Good game. Thank you so much for playing. All the best to you and your podcast and chess and working out and staying cool all right here you have it let's see the analysis ooh not a good one by me Ali eats had control the entire time I had 64% accuracy, one blunder, three mistakes. Ali with 77% accuracy. And it all started with this pawn formation right here. That was pretty ridiculous. <clears throat> that was a blunder on my end. So, note to self. Uh, with the advance and the tall variation, I need to meet the pawn there to allow for my bishop to come back in this hole. Good to know. Ali, you taught me a very valuable lesson. From there, best move, great move. Got me in this trap. Uh, my sacrifice of the bishop was a good move. That's the best move, best move, best move, yes. I tried, I tried to salvage a respectable comeback after losing my bishop. Um, but he 
Best move, good move, good move, good move. Best move, that's a mistake. Uh, yep, he could have made my knight move here or here and then just taken that pawn for free. So I just take, take, bishop retreats. Um, still, he's got all the advantage here. And then, yeah, just a series of good moves on his end led to this end game. Yeah. Great move. Great chess. Good job, Ali. That's, uh, that just about does it. I don't think I even had a chance after. I didn't have a chance from the beginning, to be honest. He had me at the very beginning with... Move number four. Until next time.